even Nigeria for Libya yesterday. Okay. What was the point of uh, arrival? Uh, the flight plan was uh, to land uh, as destination uh, Benghazi, Benina, but unfortunately, and we got the approval from uh, the Libyan Civil Aviation of, uh, Authority that we are approved to land in Benghazi. But unfortunately, when we start descent, they asked us to divert to uh, Labrig, which is at uh, almost uh, 150 miles, that means 300 kilometers uh, around uh, uh, more far, but it's at the east. So it, was, uh, it wasn't uh, our, even our alternate, uh, something which is not good because uh, in aviation we have our flight plan, we calculate the fuel to our destination, so we have to avoid uh, this kind of thing because it may uh, uh, make a bridge to uh, safety. And uh, when I insist to land in uh, Benghazi according to my flight plan and according to my authorization, they said no. Uh, it's uh, from the highest authority, you have to land in uh, Labrag, uh, al So... Well, the, the Libyans are saying that it was your discretion to land in... Uh, no, 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 everything is, uh, is registered. In aviation, we cannot, we cannot hide anything. So I asked them several times, at least eight times, and I warned them, probably I will be in trouble uh, for uh, fuel. They said it's from highest authority. You cannot land in uh, Benghazi. You have to divert immediately to uh, Labrid. Thank God we uh, make it safely and we landed safe in uh, the other airport. In the event that your company is asked to provide evidence, Will you be able to avail? Yes, yes, yes. All the all the all the evidences are uh, are in uh, all is the documented in aviation. We cannot hide anything. This is our flight plan, uh, so we cannot say uh, something which not not wrong because there is a lot of cross check and a lot of redundancy in aviation. So they cannot. Uh, hide this information or uh, say uh, other than the truth. The truth was we was uh, going to uh, Benghazi I, and I can show you also the evidence of uh, the approval. I have it. Captain, don't worry. Yes. So after that, they changed their mind, and uh, at the last minute, they changed the airport. Even the uh, airport was not it's like a domestic airport. It's not. Uh, it's not well equipped. There is no ILS, no air nav approach, no uh, VOR. So we make it visually uh, to be able to land because. In case of go around, we cannot go anywhere. So it was uh, our first and last chance. And, and I heard that we uh, have been in that area before. So that problem yes. Have to... yes. Uh, thank God, I worked there for two years uh, with uh, uh, Tunisian company. So I know the area very well, and it was not an easy matter at all. Thank you very much. Sir. When a pilot will hear to me, he will he will understand that it was not an easy an easy thing to land by night, visual approach with marginal weather, without ALS, without air nav approach, and without VOR. Thank you. Thank you. Thank God. In another development today, uh, uh, concerning the Super Eagles uh, hostage uh, at a uh, Libyan airport, Tunisian pilot who flew the Super Eagles team to Libya reveals he was instructed by Libyan authority to divert the plane to a different location. According to the pilot, he said the original flight was to land the aircraft in Benghazi, Libya, which 
through Sekong and many other uh, uh, NFF officials reviewed as approved by the aviation authorities. But later, they were suddenly directed by officials of Libya to divert to another airport just as they neared their destination. According to the pilot, you have watched the video, let me quote him. The flight plan was to land in Benghazi. We got approval from the Libyan Civil Aviation Authority that we were approved to land. The pilot explained. But unfortunately, when we started to descend, when, you know, uh, you, you know, when they started coming down to land, he was descending to land the airplane. But unfortunately, they asked us, I, I'm quoting him now, they asked us to divert to Mitiga, which is almost 150 miles, that's 300 kilometers away. This was not even our alternate, alternate airport. The pilot said he warned the officials that the diversion would have would have severely impacted their fuel reserves and could compromise the safety of the flight. He said, I could. I asked them several times, at least eight times, and I warned them that I would be in trouble for the first situation. The pilot recounted. They said it was from the highest authority and that we have to divert the, uh, to Mitiga immediately. The pilot later complied with the directive. Glory be to God, you know, he landed the aircraft safe, uh, safely in Mitiga with no challenge. Imagine if, I mean, a pilot is telling these officials, this is the situation. We don't have enough fuel reserve. They, we are supposed to land in Benghazi. And the fuel that I have, you know, uh, is what it is sufficient for. And they, they forced him to move to, uh, you know, a location that is 150 miles away. What if the pilot, so the, the airplane have, um, would have crashed? What if anything strange would have happened? These Libya people are, you know, damnable. You know? So he said, you know, he said, he said, I asked them several times, at least eight times, and I warned them that I would be in trouble for the first situation. The pilot recounted. They said it was from the highest authority. Which, which highest authority is that? This which highest authority? He asked them several times, up to eight times, and they told him it was from the highest authority. You have seen that. You have you have you have seen what is happening. You know? We saw the videos. All the super egos were head hosted for almost twenty hours, and even when they were about to go, they refused. Up airport officials found it difficult to sell aviation fuel to them, so that for them to fly back. And you people want us to fold hands and keep quiet. I see a lot of Nigerians making baseless comments that Nigeria treated them like that. These guys, Libyans, flew from Libya to Nigeria. Instead of them to land at uh, Gosula Wabio uh, 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 airport, they landed in Portacourt instead. You know? And when provisions were made for them for the NFF, they decided to book their own boat. If they had given uh, the Super Egos opportunity, maybe open door for them to book their own boats, book their own tanks, that would have been better. They were locked inside. The question I want to ask them, Libya, this uh, official, it is, were their own team locked inside the airport? Were they locked? No. If they were, uh, uh, they were locked, they won't have time to book their own taxi. And NFF provided security for them. We have the videos. You see the bus, luxurious bus that was uh, branded with their name, Libya this, and their Libya night or whatever thing their uh, men's team nickname is. But they brought Molue. Molue bus is even better. 22 players of uh, Super Eagles, we are bringing even 12-seater or 14-seater bus. That's not just a lead and it's an insult. Is an insult. And I see people commenting, Nigeria treated them this, they, they, they moved from uh, 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 Potako to you. highest is three hours, so three hours, 30 minutes. And you are saying that uh, the Nigeria treated them the same way. How many uh, hours did they wait for them to move down to you? Two hours. These ones waited for almost 24 hours. So these, these things, you can't relate. They are not related to each, they, you can't compare them. So Libya should be sanctioned. The march of obviously CAF should have postponed it by now. And Libya should not be included in African football whatsoever. You know, they should not be included in African football. They, they are not part of it.